like to introduce myself in Denina at the Baskin. Yali Eshlanda Shashida Deborah Kal. Yayi Atana Kanikat Nu Atana Eshlan Kakali Eshlan. My name is Deborah Kal, and I'm from the Fishtail Clan of Kanik. Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, thank you for coming out to this wonderful day at the Alaska State Fair. One of the goals of the board and the fair was to create services, programs, and opportunities that enhance everyone's quality of life here in Alaska. And about four years ago, the board of directors developed a master plan for the fair. And one of the higher priorities, uh, higher priority projects was to create a dedicated area for Alaska native performers, artists, and vendors. An area that came to be known today as the gathering place an area with vending booths, exhibits, demonstrations, and a performance stage. And to guide the development of the Gathering Place, there created a Gathering Place Advisory Board, a board that has been very, very instrumental in the success of this project. And we put together an awesome advisory board, and we have a lot of our members here today. We've got Buffy Meyer, who owns the fabulous salmon bake over there. If you haven't had a chance to try any of their food, that's incredible. I know she also has these beautiful uh, boof, boot cuffs and the purses and all the fur items in this blue or purple uh, shed back here are, are her creations. My name is Charles Lane. Gamble, Alaska. We brought these whale bones down from Gamble, Alaska. They are part of, um, they were in our trophy yard up in the village and it, it took us about a month and a half, two months just to get the bones down here. Uh, each of the bones weighs about 600 pounds and they're 18 foot long. There was uh, six people up in Gamble. It took them five days to get it from the trophy yard over to the airport and then load them up into the airplane. Yeah. <laughs> this was harvested in uh, 1978 by uh, um, Clarence Yergu. That's his first, his first kill. I'm going to, we're going to be erecting them uh, upward and I've got a whale skull coming down. And I've got a bunch of whale ribs and we're going to go around it. I'm penciling in. Actually, this is a mother whale giving its baby its first breath of air. When, when uh, whales are born, they don't know how to swim or breathe. <laughs> so the mother, the mother whale has to give birth and then go underneath the baby and push it up for its first breath of air. This art right here is made by my granddaughter, and uh, some of these things over here are made by my uh, my daughter. The things that she can do, I can't do, but um, I have put all these things together right here. And this is uh, turquoise, this is dentalium shell, and this is what uh, our money, our currency, this is how we buy and sell things. Yeah, my first name is Dee. D E E, and my last name is K O M, like in money, A K H U K. I'm Dene Inibia, Ojibwe, too. I was born out in the country. I was born in a trapping camp. My, my mom and dad were trapping, and my dad was the one that delivered me. And I was raised by my grandmother, who was born before there was any permanent contact with the outside world. So I was raised in um, parenting and disciplinary skills that were not affected by the Western world. And I think I'm the last person that was ever raised like that. I would pick a lot of berries because I didn't have a boat. And I would trade my berries for the native, the Tlingit native food I needed. So my children were raised in eating Tlingit food. They learn how to sing, they learn how to dance, and they learn how to speak the language starting at the age of three. 
and I took them to not only there to that school, but I took them to the elders in um, Sitka, Alaska, and they taught my children things that are not even written. We know more about you than you know about us. But then here at the fair, they're learning about us. And it's not only the people that live here on this land, this is a Diné country, but then there's other people from other parts of Alaska and we're also learning about them. And we're also uh, learning about their culture. And I think that's very important that the natives come together and uh, begin to get along with each other. But when I was growing up, I don't think we had 10 things from the Western world that we ate. My grandmother didn't like that food. But anyways, um, we would like to share um, who we really are because the uh, Western world, even the non-native people here in Alaska have no idea who we are. And, um, and our, the basis for our uh, culture was around who we call the creator of the whole universe. And he is the one that showed us where the berries were. And, and before we even go pick berries, we thanked him. After we got the berries, we thanked him. You know, and, uh, and we still live that way today, even no matter what the church says. <laughs> I think it would be very important to show the world who we really are. You know, and where we really do come from. Because um, there's a lot of misinformation out there. It's even in books. I read it in books and I can't believe what they write in books or when I hear it on the in a in a video or in a in the movies mm -hmm. and I say that's not the way we are. <laughs> but I think a place like this I think is very important for us to show the world who we really are and where we really do come from. I understand the old ancient ways and uh, and they make sense to me. Yeah, and that's who I am.